Hey my friends, Coach Vic, Certified Land Investor. Glad to be here with you. I wanted to make this quick video for you to ask you this one question. Well, this is a series of questions, but this is the main question I want to ask you. Is $20,000 a lot of money to you? Sit, think about that, all right? Now, why am I asking you this? Well, there's a difference. If I said $20,000 is a lot of money, most of you probably say yes just like I would say yes, right? None of us, at least I don't think so, would be very happy if we had $20,000 in our pocket. I guess it wouldn't be in your pocket, probably in a briefcase or something. Anyway, you have $20,000 and all of a sudden you lost it. You wouldn't be happy. That's a lot of money. You wouldn't be able to be comfortable gambling $20,000 away like that if you went to Vegas. Well, I mean, maybe some of you are, but I wouldn't be comfortable with that. Maybe you, but not me. But Long story short, it is a lot of money, especially to be frivolous with. Now let's flip the script a little bit. What if I said that $20,000 is all the money you get for the rest of your life? Kind of changes things a little bit. That perspective changes things. So what I demonstrated is the difference between short-term thinking and long-term thinking. So as a land investor, there are times where we actually trip ourselves up because we think a little bit too short term. How quickly can we get this ROI? How fast can I make this happen? How much money can I get in a small amount of time with just one deal? I get it. You should definitely be trying to maximize your returns. You, you know, don't stop doing that. But sometimes you got to think about the big picture. You got to think about the long term gains. All right. Now, with that said, you can also kind of extrapolate that a successful land investor they think about the long term and they make plans based on vision and where they want to be at a certain time period where the less successful or even the unsuccessful land investor they do things based off emotion based off what they're feeling in the moment based off whatever opportunity they see and and that for for good or, or for bad sometimes that emotional decision is like well I see this great opportunity, but I don't have enough for it. I just got to let it go. That's an emotional decision. Sometimes it's like, I see this opportunity to partner up with somebody, but you know they're asking me to do too much work and that's usually what I, I don't want to do that. And boom, opportunity's gone. Long-term person is thinking more like, okay, I have a vision of where I want to be. And it's a clearly detailed vision. Does this investment help me get closer to that vision? Even if it's going to inconvenience me or it's going to be tough to acquire the capital or you fill in the blank, if I know completing this deal will get me closer to that vision, I'm going to figure out a way to make it happen. That is what I'm trying to stress to you, my friend. Long-term vision and planning. When you have that long-term vision about what type of investor, I'm not even going to say investor, what type of person you want to be, what type of lifestyle you want to lead, how much money you want to be bringing in? How much time do you want to spend with friends and family doing hobbies, things of that nature? And when and where do you want to do these things? A lot of decisions become a lot easier. When you don't have vision, there's a lot of questions of should I, shouldn't I, can I do this, should I do that? Um, there's also a lot of shiny object syndrome because without that vision, you're like, well, this land stuff ain't working. It ain't happening fast enough. I'm not making enough money. No one's selling. No one's buying. You fill in the blank. And because of that lack of vision, you don't see this as part of the process and you go on to the next shiny object. You didn't put enough time in the land to see fruit. And then most likely the next thing that you jump into, you'll have the same pattern. You won't put in enough time or effort to see fruit in that new thing. And that new thing won't work. And next thing you know, you're jumping to the next thing and the next and the next. And you look back and if you would have just stuck with land and just went through the ups and downs, you'd be in a great spot by now but instead you're exactly where you started from, but you're more frustrated and you might be a little bit more, I guess, down in, 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 in money because you've been trying to spend money on things that don't help you. Or maybe it's not about the money, you just wasted a lot of time looking up a lot of free stuff on the internet and not trying to apply any of the things that you've been learning. So when you have a long-term vision, right? You don't have that lack of progress based on fear. You don't allow your emotions to dictate what's happening. I'm not saying you don't feel the emotions. I'm not saying you don't get nervous or afraid of things. You don't have time for you um, are second guessing yourself. Those things are happening because you're a human, right? 
you can get better at those things, but you're human. You, you'll feel those emotions from time to time. But when you keep that long-term vision in place, it's easier to understand if you're going to actually move towards where you're trying to be as opposed to keeping yourself stagnant and having fear and complacency keep you where you are. Don't forget, your brain doesn't like to change. And without that long-term vision, it's easy to keep you where you are because that's where it's safe, according to your brain. All right, so this is what I want you to, this is the next question I want you to ask yourself now that we've established long-term versus short-term is, are you working on deals right now? Or if not now, like how soon will you be able to get your next deal, right? Are you working based off of current circumstances or are you making um, deals or at least strive towards those deals based off where you want to be and what type of deals you want to do now as opposed to thinking, let me do this little tiny thing here and do that for five years and then, no, right? You making deals and are they helping you get to the vision that you put for yourself? When I had short-term thinking, I couldn't climb out of debt. Why? Because I kept thinking about what I had currently in front of me. I have all this debt and I don't have any cash. Because I just kind of quit the thinking there, I turned off my brain, I didn't get creative of what I can do, and I just stayed where I was. It wasn't until I started to think long-term and realized, damn, I acquired all these skills. How can I actually use these things to help me get out of my position? How do I make sure I stay accountable to myself? How do I make sure that if something comes up that looks a little bigger than what I'm used to, that I can handle it? And when I had that long-term vision, because like, okay, this is the type of guy I want to be, this is the type of people I want to network with and associate myself with, the type of deals I want, it made it very easy to make that plan to be like, this is the type of things I should be going for. I'm not going to do these other deals, or at least not as many. I'll do some to keep the lights on, pay a couple of bills, but I'm really going to aim for these deals over here because these are the ones that's going to help me become that person I have in that vision. Give me the free time that I wanted. Give me the, the income that I wanted. All right? So here's the thing. You can listen to this video, feel good about it, and then go back and doing what you've been doing, hoping and praying that something will definitely change, knowing that it won't because that's how I used to operate. Or you can take my challenge, make that vision, plan out where you want to go. I mean, financially, investment wise, that's what I mean. And then start taking steps towards that. Don't just go out there and lie to yourself like I used to. You know, you would have asked me, hey man, you work on a deal, like, oh, well, there's nothing right now, but I can tell something's coming. You know, I just need a little bit more money, knowing I'd have no way to make the money because I wasn't thinking long term. All right? So I'm gonna challenge you, think long-term, plan that vision out. What type of deals do you want? If you don't have the means for it now, don't let your current circumstances dictate that. Figure out a way until you do have it. There's always a solution to those who are committed. For everybody else, just excuses. All right, my friends, Coach Vic, I love doing these types of videos. I would do a lot more of the mindset and the motivation stuff uh, but I know a lot of you guys want to know some more of the nuts and bolts of land investing. But if you find some of these mindset things helpful and it helps you get yourself started, um, perhaps you might want to work with me on a more full-time and regular basis. If so, my calendar is open. I am looking for more coaching students to join my, my coaching group. It's a fantastic group. You don't got to believe me. You can ask the people who are in it what type of value they get out of it. Uh, they'll be honest with you. I don't, I don't, I don't sugarcoat because it's not like it's everything is easy and roses. You know, we work, but because we work, we make money. Easy there, easy there. All right, so that's it, Coach Vic. Glad to be there with you. Hopefully, you found this useful, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. All right, remember, long-term vision. Peace.